Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited you are here today because this is my May bullet journal setup. So I took a poll over on my community tab on my channel to see which theme I should do this month. There's two choices, either a bacon and eggs theme or a strawberry theme. And you guys voted strawberry, so here it is. Here's the strawberry theme. I really hope you love it as much as I do because I think it turned out so, so cute. So I'm starting off with pulling the markers in the pink color palette from my Crayola Colors of the World marker set and I'm testing them out on a piece of paper to see which ones I like best because if you know me, if you've watched any of my bullet journaling videos or any video I've made on my channel, you'll know I love picking a color palette beforehand. So that's what I did. I picked my favorite shades of pink and I'm starting off this spread with some fun squiggly lines that are side by side and I'm coloring them in. I saw Riley Autumn do a theme like this. I think it was in her custom bullet journal. I can't remember if it was in her actual bullet journal. If you don't know who Riley Autumn is, she is an amazing YouTuber here on YouTube who makes custom bullet journals. And I saw her make a theme like this. I can't remember if it was in a custom bullet journal or her bullet journal but it was so cute i definitely recommend following her if you need bullet journal ideas i'll link her channel below but anyways that's where i got this idea from and you're probably thinking why did you just write april i don't know why i just wrote april i did i guess my brain was thinking we're in april but we're not we're in may but don't worry you can always fix mistakes there's no no mistakes just happy accidents so here I am ripping a piece of paper and I'm going to write May on top of this. So I just took some pink construction paper, I'm ripping it. I actually really like how it turned out. So once I've ripped it, I'm taping it down with some glue tape. I think this is from Stationery Pal. Then I'm doing the same with some white cardstock and then I'm going to repeat the step with taping it down with some glue tape. And as you can see, I just found this piece of paper on my desk because there's already some scribbles on it, but you can't tell, it's fine. So now I'm just writing May over the top and I tried doing like this fading like cursive thing. I don't really know how it turned out. I kind of like it. I'm still kind of deciding if I like it or not, but I like it, I think. I think I do. But I did cursive and then I just went over the top a little bit darker and it kind of made it fade. I don't know. Again, I saw Riley Autumn do it, so I'm trying to redo it. I don't really know if it worked well. Anyways, I'm going over the top of it with a micron in a size three, and then that should be it for this part. Now that we are almost done going over the May lettering with our black micron, we can go ahead and do some more squiggly lines and color them in. And you're probably thinking like, when are you gonna put the strawberries in this theme? Don't worry, they're coming. I put them in little clusters all around and I love, love how it turned out personally. You can go ahead and do whatever theme you want. I know strawberries are like really actually red, not pink. I just thought pink would be cuter. I kind of like pink more than red personally, but do whatever you want. I try to pick like three main colors for the spread as you'll see throughout this video, but I'm just going to finish coloring in those little squiggly lines. And after I do the squiggly lines, sorry, I can't think of a better name for them. If you can, please leave me a comment down below. But after I do the squiggly lines, I just put a little black ch like checkered, no, little black dotted line that's what it is sorry my words are getting all jumbled up today but i just put a little black dotted line around the squiggles and i love how it turned out and now moving on to the strawberries strawberries are super simple to draw all you do is you draw a triangle but you just round the edges so then i just added little strawberries all over the pages and i try to do them from like different like angles or sides so like they weren't all going like the same direction then I added little black dots on one side with a pen and then I also took a white gel pen I added little highlights on the letters may and I did little highlights next to the little black dots on the strawberries now I'm grabbing a green Tombow brush pen and I'm going to add little leaves to the top of our super cute strawberries then over here I'm going to repeat the same thing this is my quote page and I really like how it turned out this month. I love the quote, I love the decorations around it. So I'm gonna leave you to chill and listen to the music as I finish up this page.
Okay, I just had to jump in here and say something real quick. I know I told you I was just going to let you chill and watch this, but I'm just going to tell you I put the marker underneath the pen this time because, trust me, I have done the marker on top of the pen before and it smeared everywhere and it was very frustrating. So that's just a little tip. Do your marker underneath your pen. Okay, now I'm moving on to my calendar page, and this is a Cricut pen that I'm using. It's really for my Cricut machine, but I really like the color, so I just took it and I'm using it for this month. I like how it was like a thin pen, and it was a pretty pink color, so I just went over my calendar and I numbered it. I think all of my boxes are like, wait, one, two, three, four, five by five dots. If you're using a bullet journal, I think they're five by five dots. I'm pretty sure they are and I really like this calendar layout and size so now that I finished the calendar over on the right hand side I am doing a little YouTube thing and right here is where I track my subscribers at the beginning of the month and the end of the month so I can encourage myself to keep going and inspiring you guys to hopefully get creative so if you aren't subscribed already please subscribe and hit that notification bell because I don't want you missing out on any more fun videos I would love to have you join a little artsy community Community and I'd love to chat with you down in the comments because I respond to every comment in my videos so make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what theme you are doing for the month of May now that I have finished that I'm moving on to some little squiggles and you'll probably see the two little lines down in the right hand corner that is for my holidays and birthdays each month I usually do that I usually do like the same setup each month but I'm thinking about doing some fun pages this summer so I won't have school so I might not need the same schedule I could just use the calendar or maybe just the weekly spreads so if you have any fun page ideas that maybe I should try out or that you're gonna try out please comment down below I would love to hear from you guys so now I'm just adding the little black dotted lines around the little squiggles and you'll notice I usually only do them on the outer line not the one on the inside but you can do whatever you would like and remember hit that subscribe button because I want you to be creative with me so now we're gonna write happy birthday and holidays that are in the month of May and now I'm just labeling the days of the week on my calendar and as you'll see I went over the little YouTube like symbols with some little black pen just to make them pop a little bit more now I'm sprinkling the strawberries throughout my page with my pink marker and then we'll add the little green tops little black dots and white dots going to add the same little cursive May that I did on the cover page right here and do the same kind of fading of the colors of the marker. And this time I decided to go over it with my Cricut pen and I really like how it turned out. Okay, moving on to my habit tracker page, I'm going to stamp this stamp on top of pink paper because yet again I messed up. I think I did the June calendar. I don't know why. What was going on with my brain today? I do not know. So anyways, I did the pink paper and I put some stamps on top of that. I really like these habit tracker stamps. You just circle them whenever you are 
doing your habits that you wanted yourself to do. Then I'm just going to glue them down and that should be it for the habit tracker page. Then I'm going to the right hand side of the page and making my first weekly spread. I love this weekly spread because I don't have like a ton to do since I'm still in school. So I just make this simple weekly spread and I feel like this combined with my calendar is plenty of room to write down the things I need to do. So obviously I have my tasks and events section and then little goals at the bottom. And now I'm going to write habit tracker. I did the habit part in like this tall, just like normal all caps font. And then I did tracker in a cursive. And then I did the same little thing where I like highlight the top of the letter to kind of make it look like an ombre effect, I guess. But now I'm just sprinkling some cute little strawberries and we can move on to the next page. Okay, and for these two pages, I'm going to do the same exact weekly spread that I just did on the other side. Okay, and I thought I'd spice up this weekly spread a little bit, so I'm just going to turn it into a Dutch door, and we'll flip it over in a minute and you can see what I'm going to do to it. But for now, I'm just going to number all of the days and then I will go ahead and label the tops events and tasks. Now I am flipping over this little piece and I'm going to do the same thing but this time it's just on this little section and then it will be like a cute little Dutch door. in a second here I sketched out a little like few boxes on the side here you can see me counting them because I didn't want to make a whole nother weekly spread for literally three days so I just stuck them over here on the side and then I'm going to make a cute little spot right here one spot will say brain dump and the other will say tasks just writing brain dump and tasks and I love how this turned out. I really like that I didn't just make a box and I colored it in. I saw someone do this and I was like, hey, I should do that. That's really cute. So I tried it. Now I'm just adding a few strawberries and I really like how this turned out. Moving on to the flip through. Everybody meet my new little cute gnome friend. What should I name him? Please leave a comment down below. I need help naming him. Now starting off with the flip through our cute cover page. Then we have our calendar. I really love how this theme turned out. And be sure to subscribe because I think I'm gonna take more polls on my channel and I will need your help. Then we have our habit tracker and our weekly spreads with our cute little Dutch door and fun tasks and brain dump side. So I love how this turned out. Comment down below what theme you did this month and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Watch this video right here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.